And welcome back to Rock Stage. My guest right now is Brent Holland, a composer. Brent, how are you? Fine. How are you doing? Super. Tell me about what you do. Well, I uh, do uh, music for TV, films, uh, jingles, just about anything you can think of. Anybody needs a, f a freelance composer, that's what I do. Um, my work takes me into all kinds of areas, documentaries, uh, TV shows, uh, films. Uh, even last night we were doing a children's song till the early hours in the morning. So that's what I basically do. You brought a clip with you, or a couple of clips. What's, what's on the first clip you brought? Oh, the first clip I brought is a documentary I did uh, for Canadian National Railways. And um, the director, Bob Barrett, wanted something very exciting, very orchestrated. Um, so I used full orchestrations in a MIDI studio. Uh, I used samplers and uh, synthesizers and things. And um, there's a lot of movement in the, uh, in the documentary, so uh, there had to be a lot of movement and excitement was the key word he used uh, in the uh, clip. Okay, well, uh, let's have a look at the, the first clip. Now, a clip like that, like we just saw, now how mm -hmm. do you work on that? Do they supply you with the film or a, a storyboard? Uh, sometimes neither, and sometimes both. In this particular case, they supplied me with uh, the actual film time-coded. And what the time-code allows me to do is actually sync up my computer, which is in my studio, with the, uh, with the video. So as the video is going along, it actually catches up to the computer, and then that way, in that way, the music stays in sync. So everything is in sync. Where do you get your inspiration to write stuff? Like, where do you start from? Well, uh, I start with images in my head. Uh, I talk a lot with the directors, the producers, try and get their ideas, for example. If they're stuck on um, what type of music they want to do, often I'll go in and, and I'll, say, uh, I'll say, what type of music do you want? And they say, I don't know, just something good. Then I'll start with them and I'll say, okay, uh, would you like a style of jazz? Would you like a style in orchestrations? Try and narrow things down. Sometimes if they get really stuck, I'll, I'll turn to colors and say, okay, if this had to be a color, would it be red, blue, or green? And they'll say red. Then I'll say crimson red or another type of red. And by doing that, that allows the director or the producer who's ever producing it to focus in on what they actually want. And I'm, I'm able to take those images after and put them through, process them through my head, and uh, they all come out into the keyboard. What's a quick summary of your second clip? Uh, second clip is going to be an underwater dance troupe called H3O, which has uh, received some notor notoriety. Uh, it's uh, won a silver medal in a uh, festival in New York and uh, also a music festival in Bourges, France. And uh, they dance underwater and uh, they're a Montreal dance troupe and it's a oh, really okay. beautiful art form to see. Well, let's have a look at the, the second clip from Brent Holland. <laughs> This uh, second clip we just saw, they mm -hmm. were, this was dancing underwater. That's right. Now, were they hearing, could they hear the music underwater? No, what happened was they did the choreography beforehand. I was able to go to the pool and watch them do the choreography. And then I went back and through discussions, like I'd mentioned before, with the director and the producers, I was uh, able to come up with this style of music. Now, this style of music was completely different. Uh, it was uh, sort of an avant-garde style of music. They wanted me to uh, meld several styles of music together. So, for example, there was a Pete Townsend-style power guitar chord in there. There was African rhythms, and there was also a jazz chromatic sax line. So all three came together to help um, push the images forward through the television set. Because what's unique about this dance troupe is that they're only, you can only see them on video through the uniqueness of video because they use reverse camera angles. And what's the last clip you brought for us today? The last clip I brought is uh, the team for Travel Travel from CFCF 12. Well, Brian, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. And uh, today we're going to close with the clip from Travel Travel, and we'll see you next week on Rockstage, where our guests will be Possession Simple. Bye for now.
Okay, it's time for a group called Island. Okay, here's a rundown of the uh, members of Island. Brent Holland plays drums and tubular bells. He's been drumming for about 16 years and has worked with uh, Pat Metheny, Pagliaro, Segarini, and uh, others. Hmm. Jeff McDavid plays electric and 12-string guitars. He's played for 15 years and was a member of uh, Wyant for three years. And Ron Knight is the bass player. Mm -hmm. He's played for about 15 years, too. He was also a member of Wyant for three years. And Phil Morrow is the vocalist who's been singing for 18 years and was a member of Wyant also for two years and a member of 777s for two. And uh, to round things up, Danny Cerise, the keyboardist, who's played keyboards for about 15 years. Yeah, the band was uh, started in August 82 and is in the process of rehearsing. A series of concerts is planned in February to promote the band, too. All writing is done by Brent Holland. The band hopes to do a lot of touring and studio work in the future in hopes of generating more exposure. Okay, let's get into Island, a song called Montreal on Shome FM. <laughs> And the stars are still up. Friday is a whisper, Sunday's round the corner, a shiver, and Monday's in the wind. And I
have an island on L'Esprit 8283. The first song we heard was called Montreal. And uh, that song, by the way, has the line in it, When days get too tall, I'm home again to my Montreal. <laughs> Should have known. I noticed that. Like, yeah, you would. <laughs> okay. And also, we heard a song called Hero and a song called Beware of Darkness. Now, this song was written Halloween night while Brent... Holland was cycling around the canal, listening mm -hmm. to a radio station playing heavy, satanic-oriented songs in honor of Halloween. I wonder who that was. I well. think that was our Show em Goes to Hell weekend, wasn't oh. it? <laughs> one of my patients does the things that you're doing with your job, we give them Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> or Cogentin. <laughs> this is like no respect. CFMB. Welcome to the second annual Multicultural Youth Festival Update. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our first edition. I'm Adi and with us in our studios today is Brent Holland, a composer-songwriter representing the group Dutch Street. Brent, it's good to have you in our studios today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. What is the song we're going to hear now? Apparently it's uh, gotten great success, eh? Yeah, it, uh, the song was written for um, a play at the Centaur called Indian Wants the Bronx and it's called Driving Rain. It, it, it again reflects the frustration of uh, city life. Okay, let's hear it. And that was Driving Rain from Dutch Street, written by Brent Holland on CFMB 1410. Brent, what are your, uh, well, what are your moves in the future? Well, the, we've got this show coming up, and we're also planning to release an EP in the summertime. Uh, right now, we're, we're just in the process of rehearsing for the show and really getting very, very tight. Okay, Brent, I wish you all the best, and uh, Thank you. keep practicing. Thanks. Ah! 
Now we're going to look at the band for today, which is August Rose. August Rose was formed in 1984. They're a six-piece band, and they've just recently completed a demo tape with which they hope to secure a record contract. They're going to perform two songs called Rainbow and Hello Goodbye.
hamstring. Good. Let's take everything to the front. We'll take it back to the march. Here we go. We'll march. One, two, three. Lift the knee up. Lifting up. Let's keep this march with the knee lift going over this next break. I'll be right back with more aerobics. Weekend. Bye-bye. Togetherness makes us strong. When it comes to politics, follow your heart. That's what I do. I think we could all gain by keeping our Canada together. We should move ahead. Yes, Canada, I love you, and I love you too. Follow your heart. Have a great week. Bye-bye. How did you get started in music? How did I get started? Or when did you get started? Whichever. Oh, a long time ago. I guess when I was 10, I asked for a drum for Christmas and I got it. <laughs> Just one? <laughs> Just one. That's how we could afford it at the time. And uh, every Christmas after that, it was another drum or a cymbal eventually, or a bass drum pedal. Got fed up with banging on the ground. <laughs> Neighbors were starting to complain. And um, I guess uh, around when I was about 20, I felt really frustrated uh, just playing drums. I, I wanted to create music, so I decided to learn how to play guitar. And uh, so I learned how to play guitar. I started writing music, some songs that I don't think were very good. And eventually, I got to the same point on guitar where I started to get it frustrated. And I decided to move on to uh, keyboards. And so I taught myself how to play some keyboards. Did you just pick up a book or something and no. just pick up the instrument? Experiment. Mm, yeah. watch, um, watch other musicians where they put their fingers on the instruments and how they strum the instrument or play the chords on keyboards and uh, take it from there. That's had a good interesting. Time. What you uh, the video took, uh, what was it, nine till nine? It was, uh, actually, it was a bit longer than that. It was a bit of 14 hour shoot. Yeah. Just yeah. through, no lunch, yeah. no supper, no nothing. Okay, well, why don't we have a look at the video and oh, okay. we can all see what sure. it looks like.
Alors, c'est l'Halloween. Mangeons tous nos clans d'ac et discutons tranquillement de la musique. Alors, sans plus tarder, je vous présente notre premier invité. Il s'agit de Brent, représentant du groupe Holland. Bonsoir, Brent. Bonsoir, Giro. Ça va? Ça va bien. Bon. Bon, bienvenue. Euh, le groupe Holland, euh, je dois dire, pour nous, c'est un peu un inconnu. Peux-tu nous faire un peu euh, un historique de ce groupe Holland? OK. Euh, pendant six mois, euh, nous sommes dans le studio mm -hmm. et euh, nous, nous, nous faisons les uh, pistes, uh, peut-être uh, pour un disque ou une uh, distribution. Oui. Um, et aussi, uh, nous avons fait une uh, vidéo. Oui. Um, C'est tout. Donc, le groupe...